Hello, this is Lyme Disease with Limey J. I'm Limey J, or James. Call me whatever you want. Now, the point of these videos is that either you or someone you know and love has Lyme Disease. Personally, I have Lyme Disease, and it's... It's not ice cream and roller coasters. Actually, it is actually kind of like a roller coaster, because you have your little ups and downs. But the point of these videos is during this whole crazy, out of control, heavy amounts of antibiotics trip that we're taking, is that a lot of times online we'll find videos and forums of Lyme disease, for Lyme disease, and it's a lot of, it's a lot of negativity, complaining, moaning, and it it's not confident inspiring. I I personally stay away from these forums and videos now because nothing in them has helped me feel better. If anything, these vid the videos that I've seen, the posts that I've read have done nothing but fill me with dread, anxiety, and fear. And I decided that I'm going to start these videos because I want to see something online about Lyme disease, for Lyme disease, for everyone who's got Lyme disease. I want videos that are confident, inspiring, that, that make you wake up every day happy, that make you want to... Maybe it's the last video you'll watch at night and it will put you to sleep with some positive kind of thought in your head instead of reading about how this guy taking Mepron now sees yellow-tinted everything. Yeah, okay, I'll read that, and then I really want to take my Mepron? Yeah, then I'm crazy. Crazier than crazy. Really crazy. <sighs> Sorry, I got a little bit off track there. But the thing about these videos is that I will keep posting them. I will keep trying to reach out, make you happy, share some of my little day-to-day -day Lyme secrets. They're not secrets to getting, you know, healthier faster. <laughs> I've been on pills for about a year. I wish I had a secret that would help me get better faster. But the secrets that I have are just the things that I personally do that get me out of bed every day. And when I hear about other people who have Lyme disease, and I just sit there and wonder, do they do this? Do they do that? Could I help them? And by now, I really want to help. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. That was, that was my ringtone. <laughs> uh, life still goes on when I do these things. I'm not going to delete this video. Anyway, the two things I want to really talk about in this video right now is that with Lyme disease, you have to just accept the fact of what's happening. I'm not saying roll over and die. That, that's, that would be an awful thing for me to say if I want to try and keep you upbeat and happy. But you have Lyme disease, and the thing you have to remember is it's not going to go away in a night. So instead of trying to fight it and keep wishing for the days of when you weren't sick or for the days when you soon will not be sick, instead of avidly craving not having Lyme disease, you have to face the facts that you do have Lyme disease. <laughs> I'm doing a bad job of being nice. Um, but yes, you have to accept the fact that you have Lyme disease. And when you do that, it's not going to make the symptoms any less. It's not going to make it go by faster. But it makes things comfortable again. I suffer from heavy, heavy depersonalization. And that's... I know it sounds made up, but it's real. Look it up if you want. If you have Lyme disease, you've probably heard this word before. And the thing about depersonalization for me was I spent months, months fighting it. I just could not stand it anymore. 
and I just kept wishing for when it would go away, kept wishing for it to be like how it was before I had it. And it made everything so wretched and bleak. And when I finally decided, I, I never even decided I lied, I finally one day I just gave up wishing. I, I stopped wishing for the miracle. I stopped wishing for the day when I'd wake up and it would be all gone. I went to sleep one night and just said, it's going to happen again tomorrow. What else is there to it? And wouldn't you know, tomorrow I just fully accepted that I had this depersonalization feeling. Everything was... It seemed like I was drunk without being drunk. High without the pot. And when I finally accepted it, it was so much easier to get on with things. It didn't make the symptoms any less but it lifted this heavy, crushing feeling in my heart it just took a weight off my shoulders. So if there's anything I can give off in this video, I want to give away two things. First one, I, I feel like a jerk saying this, but accept the fact that you have Lyme disease. It's not going to change overnight, and you're in it for the long haul, so... Pack a bag, make some brownies, not the special ones, just regular brownies. I'm not giving drug advice here. Chill out. But, get some... Now anything I say snack related is just going to be taken as drugs, isn't it? That was me again, I'm sorry. But look, this is the long haul. You're going to have to accept that it's not going to be cured overnight. And I think once you accept it, it will take a huge weight off your shoulders. Instead of wishing for what was and what is, what was and what will be, think about what is. I got a bit tongue-tied, I'm sorry. Now, I'm running long on this video. And I'm pissing people off. Um, so, I'm hoping to post another video by the end of the week or by this time next week. Anyway, I'm Limey J, signing off.